to It's Your Girl Jamaica. I'm on my way to the shop as usual around this time. Um, forgive me for driving, so you know, on and off on the camera. But um, I just wanted to basically um, talk to you guys or vlog about haters. That's on my mind and my spirit this morning because I work in a salon. Okay, so number one, I'm working with women and you know of course everyone knows that money is a major issue so not only am i working around a thousand different personalities all day hormones all day now we have money that's an issue so it's just a lot of tension in there and lord knows i hate it but nothing's perfect ever so you deal with it just like anything else in life, you know. And the type of person that I am, I'm more humble, more strategic. So I'm not going to argue with you about something petty. I'm just going to show you. So, of course, I'm just going to continue to give them or whoever reasons to hate. It's like one minute they're straight with me, one minute they're not. It seems like as soon as, you know, they see I start to get a little bit of more clientele or my work gets better, it's an issue. And I just don't understand that. Especially being like women, single women at that, well, single mothers at that, you know, we're all in there for the same purpose. We're all in there for the same goal. Hair, everybody has hair. Everybody has a head. So there's always going to be enough, <coughs> excuse me, a little congested. There's always going to be enough to go around and eat, but I just don't understand, like, why that's such an issue. Like, I don't get it. I know that they, the majority of them have been there forever, so, of course, they formed a clique, but at the same time, you know, you have somebody else coming in. It shouldn't be about, I mean, I don't care about the cliques. It's just to be fair, period. You know, this is not your salon. It's our salon now. We're all working here. So it's the, I mean, the fact of the matter is to be fair, period. But of course, nothing in life is fair. Nothing in life is perfect. So you got to do what you got to do. You got to be smooth in anything that you do if you want to come out on top, if you're really trying to win. So my attitude and my mind frame since I first walked in that door was I'm not here for friends. I'm here to work. I'm here to build myself. I'm here to brand myself. I'm here to just quietly make my way to the top. I don't have to make a scene. You know, ladies are to be seen and not heard. I don't have to be so loud about it. But I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. And I'm going to show you at 100%. You know, I've heard little comments like, oh, I didn't know she was that good. And I'm not saying I'm the greatest. But at the same time, you know, it's not only will your work speak for itself, but also your personality. People are drawn to you by your personality. And that's with anything that you do anywhere that you go. So I just don't understand the hate, really. I'm so over it. It's like, come on now. Nobody wants to wake up every day, go to their job, per se, to deal with that shit. But it's like, whatever, you know, I'm going to show you. That's one type of attitude that I have. That's the only attitude that I can't have. And it just pushes you to be better. It pushes you to go harder. And honestly, what I can say that if they weren't hating, if everything was cool, nine times out of ten, I would be more comfortable. I wouldn't be like, you know, keeping that eye open or trying to do anything outside the box or anything extra because I already know like okay whatever it's all good we all just in the rain together we all making money together but that hate shit makes you go harder because bitch now you have to show them now you have to really like put yourself just away from the group you have to single yourself out in a sense <laughs> and that tactic and that my right it works anyway because I don't know I've always been a soloist my family, friends mainly, and I'm not gonna try to be nobody's best friend in the damn work environment. It just doesn't work that way. It's crazy though. But um, I was just not really venting to you guys, just speaking on it, cause it's ridiculous. At our age, we're all mid late twenties, and it's only five of us in there. 
<laughs> which is so crazy you think it's a bunch of damn women and shit like that you act like we don't know each other and i'm just over the shit you feel me i go in that bitch i don't speak to nobody don't say nothing to anybody except my clients and that's it you know gotta really come up on them like sneak attacks on their ass pretty much anyway i'm going there today with my regular game face on because this is what i do i just don't roll out the damn bed and walk into the damn shop you're your own spokesperson and this is me this is my game face my shirt ready to go point blank so whoever decides to speak to me or whoever i go decide to speak to and try to reel them in or bring them in and stuff like that it just it's better for me but you guys have a nice day